Hi everybody, it's Professor Diffley again. Uh, this is Philosophy 220, Criminal Justice Ethics. We are in Chapter 6, uh, continuing. This is Lecture Video 4, uh, picking up. Uh, we are on Part 3 of the IACP uh, Code of Ethics. Uh, we just uh, yeah, finished off with the private life uh, part of it. Um, so, uh, more uh, further duties requirements. Never act officiously. Um, one of them, uh, enforce the law courteously and appropriately. We talked about that before, without fear or favor, or malice or Ill, Ill, uh, Ill will. Fear here is uh, about being able to go after people who did wrong, right? The law applies to everybody. So not to be, uh, uh, you know, fearful of retribution, uh, be it from uh, any group or anybody there. Um, never employ unnecessary force, obviously. Uh, never accept gra uh, gratuities. I um, mean, we're going to get to that to uh, more, but uh, never engage in acts of corruption, bribery, or nor condone those acts. Um, uh, and you're responsible. The individual officer is responsible for their own behavior. You can't just say you were following orders or everybody else was doing it. That's essentially it. So it's, it's on you to uh, uh, learn the ethics uh, and become ethical or, or continue to act ethical. Um, so, um, another codes here. Let's look at the uh, uh, UN code here quick. Uh, written more traditional code with specific articles that list requirements um, uh, for each article. So then you can see the differences between the two of them. I can read them here. Serve the community. Article 1. Uh, article 2. Respect and protect human dignity. Uh, use force only when strictly necessary and to uh, the extent uh, uh, required for the performance of the duty. Uh, see the commentary again for this. I mentioned this earlier for these uh, codes, uh, especially the UN one. Um, they even have one, uh, subpart B, uh, C, sorry, for uh, use of firearms. So that's interesting. The United Nations want to compare that to the others um, and make sure to be able to differentiate. Again, on the quiz, the exams, uh, when I give you scenarios, uh, you apply all the codes that apply, um, you know, use and uh, identify and apply all the codes that apply, all the sections of it, and explain it, uh, you know. Uh, uh, so, uh, back to this, Article 4, maintain confidentiality, you know, no torture, 5, 6, protect the health of those in custody, uh, prohibition against acts of corruption, um, and duty to follow the rule of law. Um, again, they, they cover a lot of the same ground as the IACP one. Uh, stated differently uh, in some cases it goes further in some cases it's more specific some cases it's not uh, so but you'll uh, uh, again compare them but note again to be able to apply both of them uh, to uh, our excuse me uh, uh, the uh, scenarios you're gonna get ethical scenarios so let's get into deviances here um, and let's take uh, you know we talked about the different types of uh, corruption before uh, Misfeasance, malfeasance, nonfeasance. Uh, here and now we're talking about deviances, uh, actual uh, 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 types of corruption uh, uh, here. And most of these would be uh, more malfeasance. Um, number one, as I said, uh, both the, the, in the codes of ethics, uh, it uh, involves financial reward uh, or gain um, you know, for gratuity. Uh, so this free meals, free services, discounts, that sort of thing, based on the nature of your position, uh, on your position alone. Uh, the action, or not, not even alone, just based on your position. The action is corrupt because it places the officer in a compromising position. Uh, and this goes both ways. Maybe the uh, officer now starts off his cup, cup of coffee, but you start asking for more and more, um, and you expect these things to come. Uh, and see uh, page 13. Uh, uh, actually, and uh, no, don't worry about the page 13. Sorry, that's from a, a previous book. Um, uh, don't worry about that. Um, uh, the other way to look at this too is it could uh, negatively impact the uh, to the person who runs the store. Um, they might expect now they gave you the cup of coffee once. Uh, now you cup, now you expect it every day, and that could hurt their business again. You now, a Kantian would look at this as should everybody uh, be given a uh, uh, free coffee? Uh, obviously, no, um, because then you know, it just doesn't make a sense, right? That everybody should be given everything for free, uh, not just coffee, but anything. Um, you know, utilitarian would say, yeah, maybe because it protects my business. A virtue uh, ethics here uh, would try to find the middle ground that, you know, everything for free is clearly not, uh, not reasonable here. Um, so the shakedown, uh, again, uh, so gratuity, just don't accept it in any case. Uh, you don't have to, you know, there's all sorts of ways to decline. Again, you could do it. Uh, you know, you're supposed to do it respectfully, politely, courteously. Uh, again, see the code on that. Uh, shake down this when you extort a business owner. We we're talking that for protection money or other things. Uh, uh, I gave examples earlier. Perjury. This is lying. Um, perjury can be all sorts of things. Attend to fix. Because uh, uh, perjury here includes on your fix uh, official documents, testimony, that sort of thing. Uh, fix a criminal prosecution or protect other officers through forms of lies, deception. 
um, you know, planting evidence, just outright lying, uh, that sort of thing. Uh, these are uh, forms of corruption and uh, deviance, specifically. Uh, brutality, that one is really um, uh, straightforward uh, again there. Um, but here, obviously, uh, brutality usually means physical violence, but this can also mean um, a verbal, uh, right? Again, protect, uh, courteous, uh, with respect, that sort of thing. Profanity. Uh, especially uh, in regards to uh, re in re religious connotation, uh, extratorious sexual functions, uh, or per person's race, that sort of thing. Um, <clears throat> there are going to be times when you're going to curse, everybody does, but yeah, you can't. Again, respect, courtesy, that sort of thing. Um, now, it, uh, especially it shows bias, um, it, could, it could, could perceive to show bias, uh, sh uh, racism, all sorts of things. Um, but also, again, as you're not, you, you serve the people, um, you serve the state, you serve all of us. Uh, so that is the idea. Uh, you know, you want respect, uh, the people want respect, that sort of thing. Uh, obviously, there's always exceptions, but you know what I mean. But again, part of the police officers, they're supposed to be uh, part. You know, they're supposed to be examples for us. You know that we ask a lot of them. They they take the, they have a duty that most of us will never carry and don't carry. Um, and it's meant to be. Uh, they should take that to heart and uh, live it there. And that's what uh, uh, the code is getting at here. Uh, other way, uh, deviance is uh, sex on duty or duty related. Uh. Now, this one just uh, is clear, right? Uh, you can't use a position uh, of power to, um, uh, even if it's consensual, it's wrong. Um, uh, and there's some of these, obviously, that aren't, right? Sexual shakedowns would be uh, sexual exploitation, uh, obsex strip searches, uh, the way uh, uh, contacting victims, um, either physical contact or continuing to contact them, you know, uh, unrelated to the case voyeurism using your position this would be like uh everybody gets with voyeurism right it's the uh, idea of uh you know, watching others getting pleasure from that um so you can't like park in front of someone's house uh to try to get looks at them or you know use your your position to be able to uh do that um uh you know fox something is a, a term uh they often use uh this would be like uh the police like say at a college uh trying using their position to meet uh uh students or things like that um it's an old term but that's a uh, uh, one you'll see in some cases. Uh, again, uh, yeah, you can't just pull someone over because uh, 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 you thought they were good looking. You wanted to get a closer look or something like that. Obviously, that's wrong. Uh, but these are some of the ones. No sleeping on duty. That's a deviance. Um, that one's obvious. Um, so uh, don't use drugs and drinking on uh, on the job. That is again a clear one. Um, and, and you know, it, obviously, you shouldn't just do that because you're impaired. Um, and you know, right? You're supposed to be a professional, but uh, as it's also saying, it could lead to uh, uh, much worse things, right? Open door to blackmail, shakedowns. Uh, what if you're, uh, you know, if you're an addict, uh, as we all unfortunately know, uh, you know, um, it, it'll lead people to do things uh, uh, that they know they shouldn't or wouldn't normally do. Um, so, and just to get the drug uh, to get their fix. So. This could lead to uh, all sorts of uh, problems uh, and, and really does open the door to further corruption in many ways. Uh, misuse of confidential information, right? Uh, you have to take that uh, uh, duty uh, for privacy uh, seriously. Um, uh, willful neglected duty is, is just you know, not responding to calls, uh, exploring multiple... Yeah, um, and what does this mean by explore the multiple roles of an officer and the ethical uh, prof uh, uh, principles of the profession, right? You can't, <clears throat> you, can, you can't, hey, a willful neglect, you can't not respond just because you're, you don't feel like going or because you don't like the person that's having it, those sorts of things, right? You're supposed to serve and protect everyone, even if it's someone like, say, you're, you know, you're the person you dislike the most in the world, um, you still have to respond and help them, uh, is what's getting there, but obviously willful neglect, um, obviously if you were, and willful means it's uh you chose to do it uh you made a choice um so here's a one uh other part to here is lying in police work um so it's in, most of the like if you look at uh, uh deontological uh, it says lying is wrong uh across the board right that's the that that's the duty do not lie um but and and you know utilitarianism uh would look uh uh you know at this depending on the outcome uh Virtue ethics would see it as is that the middle ground uh, idea, um, but yeah, you know, usually you know we usually associate. Uh, I think most people do is uh, uh, you know lying with uh, someone who is uh, a virtuous or ethical uh, and dishonesty. Yeah, you know, not lying. Uh, you know, being honest is is good. Uh, lying's bad. Um, dishonesty's bad, and and sort of seems to be uh, unethical. Um, as we're gonna see, uh, there is uh, instances where the police uh, have to lie um, and do lie. Um, and whether it's ethical or not is uh, is one of the questions here. But uh, 
you know, a lot of their tricks are allowed in some aspects of police work. Um, most common, obviously, is um, uh, would be undercover work. I mean, right? You go in uh, pretending to be, that is a complete lie, right? You're pretending completely to be someone else, purposely shielding your identity, um, that you're misleading people. Uh, remember, you know, the practical imperative, uh, uh, the categorical imperative is do not lie in deontological. The practical imperative is uh, to uh, not use others as a means, as merely a means. Uh, they are ends in themselves. Um, here you are using the people, right? To, you're, you're tricking them. Um, again, that, that would seem to go against the utilitarian say, well, that's how you have to do it. Um, right? The lies here will uh, lead to, uh, you know, uh, criminals off the streets, that sort of thing. Um, even virtue ethics would appear to maybe uh, support this in the sense that uh, right that maybe this is the least uh this is the best choice there right this is that middle ground based on the situation remember there's uh between excess and deficiency uh this might be in the uh way because it'd be to completely tell the truth there'd be no way to uh, keep tracks on them uh take them down that sort of thing um you know is is this lying uh going too far though is maybe what the uh a uh, way virtue ethics could criticize this um more here uh, lists, uh, lies and interrogation of suspects to either uh, build trust relationship. I mean, that's uh, uh, sort of uh, the uh, way you interrogate, a method of interrogation, not, you know, uh, uh, you know beat them into a torture and this sort of idea, but you can get uh, more uh, uh, by, you know, building a relationship or at least the appearance of one, right? You're trying to get that trust uh, so that they open up to you. Uh, you know, the questions are, is ethical? Why or why not? Um, and, you know, that's what we're talking about. It, it, it really depends. Most people would say, yes, it is. It's a limited uh, exception. It's a different rule. It's the real world. You have to do this in order to uh, maintain their cover, protect themselves, uh, and, and to be taken down. Uh, others would say, no, they should be held to a different standard and should not lie in any way. Uh, they would even say undercover officers. I mean, this was an argument early when the uh, uh, British police in London uh uh, uh, this began to use uh, for the first time uh, plain clothes uh, detectives and officers. Uh, they were they were accused of being spies. Uh, that's what people are, and saying you know in, in many ways someone undercover a uh, plain clothes is sort of a spy in the sense that uh, merely that the, well at least the plain clothes officer that they're trying to blend in right and uh, not stand out. Uh, the uh, undercover is sort of that's exactly what they're doing. Um, but you know many would say no 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 it, it's ridiculous to hold them to a standard that they can't lie. Well the criminals are cheating in that. Um, but again, this is something for you to uh, uh, get your mind around and uh, explore uh, for yourself there. Um, lying, what is not allowed, again, uh, it, it's not limited. Uh, it includes, but not limited to this, right? You can't create evidence, plan and evidence, can't lie in court. That's the uh, perjury part. We've talked about that. Uh, all of this is perjury, uh, honestly. Uh, lying to fellow officers, uh, you know, this is all officials, which make it there. So that's not, okay, you can't lie in the stand. You could lie to infiltrate the gang, uh, but you can't lie about what they did and make stuff up that is i mean that should be uh clear um you know but not everybody believes that some reasons they cite for unacceptability lying again destroys confidence in police uh they're immoral because they are legitimate illegitimate means to an end right that's criticism of utilitarianism this is a, a classic one of that is that uh it seems to suggest that anything is okay and will this open us up to the slippery slope uh there uh and that is often uh what will happen uh you know, and we all know this. Uh, it could be uh, disallow evidence um, if it was uh, the evidence was obtained wrongfully. Uh, this is sort of the and even uh, good evidence there, uh, the fruit of the poisonous tree uh, concept. Uh, and you know, some say this just goes against their religious and their own moral codes and that. Um, others say again, uh, utilitarian and legalistic approach is uh, it's a greater good. Again, positive consequences, and you know, it's not a crime, uh, so therefore it's permissible. Is one argument too. That's a very legalistic one, right? And that's the one that says, remember the uh, just because you're following the law doesn't mean you're acting ethically, though. That was always it. Uh, legalistic, though, is saying if it's not a crime, then it's not unethical. And as we've seen, a few of the ethical schools actually believe that. Uh, and others say. So do what you got to do, solve crime, but that can obviously go too far as that do the ends really justify the means, uh, you know, what are the limits of that, um, and these are, we've talked about this, but here's some more of it uh, uh, for you uh, in there, um, and so, <clears throat> again, uh, as talked about, but this is to show you again that, um, of uh, uh, what we're discussing, um, all right, so we'll come back to this in the last uh, one, uh, video for this, uh, we'll begin here, the uh, common ethical issues, uh, all right, thank you.